In this video of JavaScript, we are going to deal with the events. Since JavaScript is a scripting for a web application which is nothing but a GUI, so event-driven programming is very much related to the GUI applications. And now, by working with the events, we are actually going to perform that event-driven methodology. So here, for performing the events, we will use the HTML attributes of the event type. Like for example, if I'm taking a button and I want something should happen when I click on that button. So this is nothing but an event. So for that, I can go for on click. Similarly, if I want something should happen whenever my page gets loaded. So in the body tag, I can pass on load attribute. So on load is nothing but again an event. Similarly, different elements of your DOM may have the different set of events and you can call the specific methods which we have already done on a particular event so that that event will be more logical. So let's start implementing the method calls with the events now. So now in this example we'll cover the couple of more events like mouse over and mouse out. So basically what I have done is in the body I have taken the image tag in which I have actually not specified any particular image and I have also not specified the size of this IMG tag that means I am taking the actual size of the image here. If you want you can take the size as per your requirement. But apart from that if I talk about the events in the body I have called a method called onLoad means this particular event will be fired as soon as the uh, page will be loaded on a particular browser. But at that particular time a particular image will be set to this IMG tag on the load event. So as you can see here like the name of this IMG tag is IMG1 so I am accessing that particular image from this uh, load method like document.images IMG1 and SRC means I am setting the source for this particular IMG tag IMG1 which is there in the body. There may be a number of IMG tags in the body so I am specifying the specific one. Now here I have a couple of images like logo green and logo red. So on the load I want this logo green to be there in the image. But as soon as I will put the mouse over that image so as you can see here on mouse over I have called a method called mouse over and there I am setting the logo red dot png that means that particular image will be swapped and the new image will be there as soon as you will be putting the mouse over the image but when you will move the mouse out of the image this mouse out event will be called and it will again set the logo green in that image. So let's see how the output is looking like. So this is what the logo green is here. When I'll put the mouse over it, you can see this is the logo red. And now if I'll put the mouse out of this uh, image, again, this is logo green. So you can see the effect of the event like mouse out and mouse over. So this is how you can try some more events in the tutorial you will find the couple of a list of events so you can try any of the event on a particular control or the tag and you can do the relevant operation on that event.